we ask first of all, Madad of Mawlana Shaykh Nazim to support us without his Madad, we are useless, nothing, we are nothing without the supportation of Mawlana Shaykh Nazim, without the supportation of Ranshe, without the supportation of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and from the divinely presence of Allah Almighty, it's no supportation, we are nothing, we are useless, the one whom they like to accept, most welcome, and the one who doesn't accept, let them criticize as they ask, we don't care. They say we are inviting everyone to hell. Yeah, we are inviting everyone to hell. Because all awliya, Yawm al they will tell you Allah Almighty, make our bodies so huge, so big as hell, so no one to answer to hell. One awliya, he told you Allah Almighty, make my body as huge as seven hell, so that all children of Adam, believer or an unbeliever, will be safe. I will be putting all the hands. I don't care. Because awliya, if they enter to Jahannam and Allah is blessing uh, them by Rudwanullah, by please from them, they don't care for this fire. When awliya, he told them, oh Allah Almighty, you are threatening us, you are threatening us by Jahannam, I will go on Jahannam, I will distinguish it, distinguish it, I want to finish it, no more to remain. Like this, Allah Almighty, we like to make a joke with his audience. Allah Almighty, they think Allah Almighty as uh, their mind gives them imagination. Allah Almighty, oh, imagination. Allah Almighty cannot be described. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was saying, Subhanaka la yasifuqa nuwasifun. Praise be to you, Allah Almighty. No one can describe you. Yeah. Now they want to limit Allah Almighty or describe him. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, he invites all the people to the Jahannam, to the hell, which Namrud built it for him. No one except the one who accepts only one girl, she throw herself in Jahannam, following Sayyidina Rahim alayhi salam. And then after several days when the fire was down, down, then totally finished, and so they found that Sayyidina Rahim and this girl, they are sitting in a very nice garden full with three fountains of water, dinner table coming from heaven, and she not there for all this girl. Our hell like this, paradise. But for them, their hell is going to be angerness of Allah Almighty, much more worse than the fire. Angerness of Allah Almighty, one is coming over the one, then he must know what is going to come over his head. All seven Jahannam are nothing in front of Allah to get angry from a one. Then it's broken. Let them say whatever they say. We are saying, according to what coming from the knowledge of Awliya Allah, Sayyidina Shah al Naqshuban, Imam of our way, Mawlana say, he say, anyone who wants to ask about a hadith, explanation, or ayat, let him go to the Mufti, to the ulama. They are specialized by this. But anyone who wants to know about the way leading to Allah Almighty, we are special Come to us. No one can take you and make you to be walking in the way leading to Allah Almighty, except Awliyaullah, whom already they cross this way and reach to the divine presence of Allah Almighty and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah is telling them to bring people whom they are asking. Not everyone is asking. No. Everyone, not everyone is a doctor in medicine. Not everyone is an engineer. Not everyone is a lawyer. Not everyone is a businessman. Not everyone is a marketing. Not everyone is a banker. Allah Almighty is making everyone to have some 
same to be specialized in it. And also the way of Allah Almighty it has its own people whom they are specialized in the way of Allah Almighty. And these people, they are the one whom Allah Almighty choosing them from in between children of Adam alayhi salam and letting them by his greatest name because they are the one whom they catch the greatest name of Allah Almighty when Allah Almighty flowing from his soul into Adam alayhi salam they are the one whom the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are telling him the holy read of Allah Almighty and they are the one whom Allah Almighty crowning them by His greatest name, by His divine world of name, by His divine world of attribute, by His divine deed, light of His essence of Allah Almighty, blessing them and they are in between children of Adam alayhi salam, like stars in the heavens. How do you see the stars in the heavens in Okay. Night time, shining, sparkling, they are these ones like this, sparkling, shining in between children of Adam and Allah. Only, for example, now if I drink for you, Sharia, yeah, is it diamond, like this? I tell you this is diamond. It's a big glass now. Good, so. If I take it to love it, very <laughs> good. Jewels, you will have it. No, the value of jewels. Everyone knows the value of his food. Never another one know about the value of any food which is not specialized in it. He will think it's like that. While a jeweler, he, he knows that it is a diamond, so precious stone. And once a caravan, Maulana says, and all of you know the story, only now it is a place for it to say it. The caravan was settling night time in a valley, and in this valley they make the comments to rest, and they were resting. And near to dawn time, this night, the leader of the caravan he told them to throw all your food. And as much as you can take from the stones of this valley and pull all your coming. It will be much more valuable than all your food. Some of them, they take by the advice. They throw all their food, the important food they have, and they pull stones, stones, nice time, yeah. touching stones and put in the coming. Yeah. Some of them, they have a little bit mind. <laughs> like Jama'at and Tabdeh and Wahhabi, <laughs> they said, no, our wood is good. You don't want to throw our wood, but we will take some samples, stay down, we'll see what it is. And then the dunya people, the one who follow Shaitan totally, no human, no nothing, we are satisfied with our wood, no need for stone. Anyone replace his wood with stone? No. no. So the caravan, so that time, calling Adan, the uh, Imam of the Taliban, they say, so that yes, right. And they travel. After one, two hours, three hours, leaving the valley, sunrise, daytime, all they were seeing, then they look at the stone, it was all jewels, gems, so precious, but one gem, perhaps equal to all the food of the Taliban. Allah. So the one who pulled their camels, they were solid. The one who had samples, they were biting uh, their fingers. And the one who didn't take anything, following their egos and their uh, mind, they were the ones whom they lost everything. And that is this Aulia Almighty, Allah Almighty descending, for Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, a dinner table for his disciples. When they asked, O oh, Isa alayhi salam, can, can your God, can your God descend a dinner table on us from heaven? Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, don't say like this. 
ضبط كان الله Almighty Creator by the everything will be. You say can? No. Can can be given to Allah Almighty. Which means he can or cannot. Then say nice, I say don't say like this. Say, oh Allah Almighty descends on us. They did not say this. He will descend. But don't say can your God descend on us. And you have to be a Rabbu Kai, you know, there are lay nama is a Tamina Sama. Call it Tapullah. It's not good, not respect to say can, Allah, of course Allah can. And so Allah Almighty descends on them a table. And we say, anyone who will be after this table reject and deny the message of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, I am going to punish him by what uh, never I punished anyone of children of Adam alayhi salam. And Allah Almighty make it a dinner table for Sayyidina Isa once in his life for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah Almighty every moment descends, is descending every moment, less than a second, every moment descending tables and tables and tables over awliyaullah so that all the nations, Ummah of Rasulullah to eat from them. Someone they are baking and eating, someone refusing, because not everyone has teeth to eat uh, meat or chicken. Some they have, like donkeys, teeth which can only eat straw. Some of them, they have no teeth at all. They want soup. Mm-hmm. And the dinner of uh, David, which Allah is sending, is full with all kinds of meat, chicken, uh, all kinds of the much more, ex- which is the most uh, preferable food to mankind. And so the one who has no teeth, what we can do for him? And like this, the one who is not eating from the table of Allah Almighty is descending on Allah and taking as much as he can from it so that he will be survived by God the life from Allah Almighty. What the Allah can do for him? That is. Allah gives everyone a free will if you like. Most welcome, you don't like as you like. And so this Allah Almighty, what is saying in the Holy Quran to Rasulullah Sallallahu don't force anyone to answer to Islam. Don't force anyone for worshiping. La ikraha fi deen. Don't force anyone. This is the table of Allah Almighty. Anyone like, most welcome. The one who doesn't like, let him go home. Don't care. And like this, we put this table, we are carrying at the table, dinner table, lunch table, lunch table, breakfast table, from Allah Almighty is descending all the time, and we are putting in from the one who likes to eat from him. The one who likes to eat most welcome, the one who doesn't like to eat, not so, that's him. First, what we do, that's how for him to be fasting. Or he can go to the table of donkeys and he can eat throw up. Butter for him. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, he was only a teenager, yani not more than 14 or 15 years old. And all, all his people, with his family, with his father, all of them, they used at that time to worship 366 gods. They have statues of 366 gods. They, have, they make a very huge temple for them and they used to worship them. Only Sayyidina Ibrahim, between these millions of people. He said, well, crazy. Anyone worship statues, leaving Allah Almighty and going after the statues. And his father was uh, forcing him, giving him, his father used to build small statues to send to people to put in their houses also. 
Kondan and the Kondan and the And he used to take this gun uh, to the riverside and tell them drink. <laughs> no answer. He gave them drink. He was young boy. Drink. They don't eat. They don't eat. They will use that you are not drinking, not eating, not speaking. <laughs> what I will do? You will close them to the river, come back. That is God, you are eating him, eating him. What is the money of the God? <laughs> no money. Then when he was in his dream, he was Allah Almighty sent him guidance to his heart and choosing him to be his brother, Allah Almighty. Choosing him to dress him by light of prophecy. <laughs> and to make him Khalilullah and deen to Allah Almighty. And so Allah Almighty chooses him to be his deen is much more stronger than his friend. So close to Allah Almighty that Allah Almighty at that time his people besides they used to worship the statues and gods, also they used to worship the orders, the galaxies, the stars, then now they name all the stars by the names of their gods of a time of Sayyidina al rahim like Venus, like Beers, like this, like that. Then now these planets are named Sayyidina all by the names of the gods in time of Islam. And for this all these names are not accepted in Islam. And Sayyidina al rahim then Allah Almighty saying in the Holy Quran, لِنُلِي إِبْرَاهِيمَ مَلَكُوتَ السَّمَاءِ Allah Almighty, even he was a 16 year, 14 year boy, Allah Almighty wants to make a vision opening for Sayyidina Ibrahim to show him the malakut, not the mulk, but the malakut, the reality of the heaven. And he offered for him Allah Almighty, then he looked, he saw, first of all, Venice, this star. So close to the earth. Instead of running, looking at it, say, Ibrahim alayhi salam, he said, No, they are crazy, my people, worshipping you. You can be you a God. Run it. Can this star be a God? Never. Then this appears. He said, I'm not going to worship a disappearing God. Then the moon was coming. Then say, Now, when say this, Nothing also. This moon is something like the earth. Can be a God giving benefit to creation? Can he create anything? Even he must be a one created him. Then it appears how I am going to worship I this appeal God? No. Then Allah Almighty made him the sun to rise. All night he was like this from one uh, star to another, from one moon to another, until he reached the sun. Then once the sun rose, that's very good, very big. Then up it will be a god. Then up be a god. Because every day rising and setting, never a god will rise and uh, set. Never can be like this. God must be always continuously in between his creation. Cannot be Allah Almighty. The God cannot be absent from the creation. Must be with them, to give them life, to give them food, to give them uh, water, to give them whatever they ask him to give them. For he created them and he must conquer them in everything. Then this son also this appears to say, I'm not going to create. To worship a disappearing son. Uh, and so, like this, he comes to his people, he says, You are all in the wrong way. Even he was addressing to the king, to the, all the people, You are in the wrong way, because all this must be a one who created them and making them to rotate. Everyone is in orbit, no one to crash with the other or to make accident with the other, there is a one who is programming all this. This you must worship him. At that time he doesn't know yet Allah Almighty. Not yet Jibreel alayhi salam stand on him. 
And like this, Allah only is standing in his heart, inspiration, inspiration, ilham, ilham, ilham. And then then he told them, are you crazy to worship stones? That should stones, nothing, no benefit from that. Even they are not, they are not speaking with you. If you ask them, they can give you anything? No. How you are you worshiping these statues? <coughs> you are crazy enough, and you say you are king and ministers, and you are so important people. I'm not crazy like this. Look what I'm going to do. He left, and then morning, all of them, they come to the temple, they make their morning worshiping, all of them, once he enters alone, and he has an axe in his hand, he starts to ruin all the gods one by one, cutting their heads, cutting their hands, cutting their, their all the bodies, until he destroyed all of them, he cut all the, the bigger gods in the temple. The one who is the god of all gods. And they put the axe in his neck. And they run away. <coughs> now it is noon time, they must go to the temple and to worship the god again. They want to, no god, all ruined. Who ruined our god? They said we heard a boy was talking badly about them for the Ibrahim. They go and bring him to the king. And they bring him to the king. He doesn't use this like this by all our gods. You okay. see? So, how dare I do with God? I can ruin God. If you want to ask, as the God of all gods, who is putting the axe on his neck, he gets upset from all of them, gets angry from all the gods, and the him, he finished them. <laughs> He wants to bring another one. Ask him. The king then he told them, you don't know that they don't talk? <laughs> he told you are crazy by king. How you are worshipping one who doesn't talk? <laughs> no mind. Then the king was and said, right, how we are worshipping? Then he said, no, no, we must punish you. So that because if we want to follow Sayyidina Abraham alayhi salam, then all his people, especially the uh, no mind people, like nowadays, ulama and Wahhabi people, they will be uh, making a revolution, will finish the king also, and take him off and bring another one. So he said, I'm going to make for you a hell, a fire, and throw you in the fire, so that we will support our God. And whatever you want to do, do. I don't tell, I am depending on Allah or my, my God. Then they start to collect all kinds <coughs> of trees, food, from jungle. They make a very huge, and Sayyidina Ibrahim was small boy, only one tree to put, uh, to crucify him on it and to go let him be there. Why all this big hell they were doing to Sayyidina Ibrahim? Only craziness, as nowadays they are, for example, now this. It contains water. Yeah. Yeah. Little bit. Now, if there is a little bit of water. If you make like this, it is not it good noise. Yeah. Like this, all around. Uh, they have a little of noise. For so this day, make, make big, noise. big noise, like a drum. I'm um, not only noise. Once this is full, can make noise? Yeah. Oh. Like this, how you full? Yeah. No noise. Okay. While all the others, they are only a little bit of noise. They think they know everything, and they know nothing. Even A, B, C, they know. <laughs> and then they put, they were not able to afford to the fire from very long distance, perhaps more than five miles a distance. They built a very huge cannon from wood to throw the Isa Abrahim alayhi salam from this long distance, because they are not able to approach to the fire. Because the fire was like hell, waves of fire coming over anyone approaching. And it was still the cloud, the fire. So you fight. Say it low. Say Abraham put it in the cannon, just putting it in the cannon and throwing it in the way to be 
أنت لتلفتا فير الله ماجد سند سيدنا جبريل عليه السلام سلم سيدنا إبراهيم عليه السلام جبريل عليه السلام سيدنا الله He told them, I am Jibreel alayhi salam. Allah sent me to save you. And what you order me to do, I will do. If you want me to put all the kings and all the people, all the country, all you people in the fire, I will do it in that second. <coughs> and if you want only to save you, I am coming here to save you. He said, Jibreel, go back. I am not in need for you, the one who is standing you and seeing me in what condition I am now, in what state. I am depending on him. No need for anyone else than him to save me. Either he will save me or I don't want any help from anyone. Like this out here. Allah teaching Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam why he takes Sayyidina Ibrahim to be an team friend to him. Because he has much more tawakkul, depending on Allah Almighty, even than Sayyidina Shabriya alayhi salam. And he told him, go, oh, the one who is looking now and knowing in what state I am, he will have me. I am not in need for anyone else than Allah Almighty to have me. Don't ask except Allah Almighty. And Allah will then make everyone and this life and this dunya to serve you. But if you ask anyone else than Allah Almighty, Allah will make you to be serving this dunya and serving him and no one penny benefit you will get from him. Serve Allah Almighty and everyone will serve you. Allah Almighty is wearing on dunya. Oh dunya, serve whom serve me. And never serve or give anything from you to the one who is serving you. Like this, Allah Almighty is well, when he created the dunya, he makes an oath that not to give anyone serving him, serving the dunya, to give him anything from it. And to be the dunya and to whatever it contains and is living on it, to serve the one who serves Allah Almighty. Right. And for this Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, teaching the Sahaba one day after sunrise after the day of the Shabbat he told them we will go to the to visit Sayyidina Hamza uncle of Rasulullah and so Rasulullah from day to day we every morning to go and visit uh, the Shuhada of Ohosh and his uncle Sayyidina Hamza and in the way reaching to the mountain of Ohosh Rasulullah told the Sahaba to stop. He said, look, he was because the sun rising behind them. He said, in front of you, what is that? They said, shadow, our shadow. Because the one that said, sun rise, the shadow, he told them, our shadow. He said, I am Kabir, I am Yahweh. I will promise the one who can catch the head of this shadow, a certificate to enter paradise without any question from Allah Almighty. I am Muslim. Both. And all the Sahaba, even say now, what was the big Muslim, all the Sahaba, and at that time, Maulana say, Renche, Panala, Sahaba, never using their mind in front of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam even they are so clever and smart they didn't say how the Rasulullah no one can catch his shadow but at the head of the shadow they didn't use their mind like shaitan who uses mind in the divine presence of Allah Almighty I am better than Adam I will not make to do them they didn't use their mind all of them with all their respect running everyone to catch the head of the shadow to bring it to Rasulullah so, uh, can anyone reach to the shadow? How much you run, the shadow will run in front of you. How much you will be after the shadow, the shadow will be running in front of you. No one was able until they are going to reach to the mountain of Ohud. And then the shadow was re reflecting on the mountain so high, no one 
And so, this rays of the sun, how much the sun gives rays? Thousands. If anyone walk on this rays, where he will reach? Where he will reach? Should be done. Yeah. No? No. The one who will walk on this road, <coughs> so, which the rays they are the road of the sun. The one who walk on this rays, he will reach to the sun. And the same, the one who can walk on the rays which shining from the holy essence of Allah Almighty or from the holy reality of Rasulullah. If he can walk on this rays, he reach to them. But what you need? You need a special feet and shoes to dress so that you can walk on light, on rays. And if you have such a foot, feet and such a shoes to dress yourself, then easily you can walk on the rays of sun or the rays of Allah Almighty and the rays of light of Rasulullah. Then you wish to Allah Almighty and Rasulullah. Search for such shoes, search for such feet to be dressed to you. And no one can dress them to you except awliya of Allah. They have this authority from Rasulullah and Allah Almighty to dress you by a light feet. Like you, you these can walk on the rays of light of Allah Almighty and on the rays of Rasulullah until you reach to the presence of Rasulullah and divine the presence of Allah Almighty. May Allah Almighty forgive us and bless us by all means of the ritual divine the the eternal God the knowledge of Allah Almighty and Rasulullah and to make us to swim in this ocean of the Holy Jesus of the Holy Quran in the ocean of the holy reality of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and in the ocean of the heart of the reality of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the heart of the reality of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this reality is a complete divine divine world by itself existing by Allah Almighty totally different from all the other kingdoms which everyone know about it and the result of this reality is the grand shaykh Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Sadiq and Mawlana Shaykh Abdullah Dawassani Fattah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Dawud al-Muhattah They are the heart They are the heart of this pyramid They are the main important stone If you take it all the humans will be down They Allah bless them like this The one who follow them says that they will dress them by feet, by shoes, by wings to walk on the rays of light coming from the reality of Rasulullah yeah. from the light of the holy essence of Allah Almighty until the one will reach safely to the divine presence of Allah Almighty and Rasulullah Allah, 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 Allah.
to be blessed and delight to be blessed and forget Allah Almighty when he blows on his soul into Sayyidina Adam and Sally, making the soul and inside and the heart their life is blessed. And so this is when you open your mouth, but the light coming, but it will be blessed, the color of blessed. And Kaaba, Allah Almighty blessing is by blessed. Sayyid al Mahmur is blessed. The throne of Allah Almighty is blessed. All of them are blessed by the light of blessed. And the blood of Allah Almighty, this light is much more shiny and much more attractive than all any other color which you see. And for this you will see always the Kaaba lightened by blood. And it's blood, but must not, must not be lightened, but you will see it lightened because it is the light of Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty chooses this light. And for this all the way from sun to earth, it is all lightened, but the light given up to be black, down given to be yellow, yellow. Because children of Adam alayhi salam, Allah makes their uh, ego and their mentality to love God. And for this blessing done by the light of God. While to Allah Almighty, the light us is blessed. And while Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was in the night, Ma'raj night, uh, Ma'raj night, and is ascending in all these horrible heavens to reach to the throne, all the oceans of light was blessed, totally blessed, 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 blessed. So horrible. All the reality secret is swimming in oceans of light of blood in the uh, divine divine world of Allah Almighty. And Allah Almighty saying for this uh, uh, light of Allah Almighty, Nurun ala nur. Even that, but it is light over light. After choosing for him as a light as for uh, Jalali, what we call Jalali, not much is safe, but Jalali means uh, Allah Almighty is choosing for Himself the uh, Almighty and power, magnificent, Jalali, Jalali means uh, that something which makes the one to be always to be under uh, right panic and to frighten from what is giving this light. Choosing this light of our Almighty to frighten anyone to approach to his divine presence. And for this we will burn any jinn or shaitan who will fly to get anything from heaven. And Allah Almighty making his divinely light of the salon which is shining and the light of body face of Allah Almighty shining it is all by the color of the black of majesty of Allah Almighty while the carpet of Allah Almighty is red the carpet of the kingdom of Allah Almighty is red and for this Allah Almighty choosing is making, creating a river crossing inside the throne by the color of blood referring to the carpet of Allah Almighty and every drop of this river Malaika praising, glorifying and sparkling how there is uh, tonic water always sparkling like this sparkling the Malaika Raising, terrifying, full with light, all jumping. How the ceremony this jump, like this jumping in this river, raising, glorifying Allah Almighty, and Allah Almighty making this river in the blood of mankind to rest to them from the majesty of Allah Almighty. And for this, the blood is red. And take the Lord. And for this Allah Almighty says, don't anyone to eat or drink blood. 
because it is a day from the day to deliver in the throne of Allah Almighty. The day to deliver of life where Allah Almighty is letting from his life into this river and making the malaika to be jumping, praising, glorifying, full with life to be always in tangent. Allah defends them and bless them in every newborn one in the body, in every one of his creation. And for this Allah shows him the color of bread for his majesty, Allah Almighty. Making that the red color, <coughs> the blood could be look like the carpet of Allah Almighty, which Allah Almighty telling Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi in the night journey, that by truth on my carpet, my beloved Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Because Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam means that Allah Almighty is telling him, dress by your evil and your humanity, because no more you have evil on humanity when you are working all this urban, heaven station, all these oceans of light which all that from the light of Allah Almighty, Allah says the light of Allah Almighty is blessed. And like this, when he cross, no, he was totally Melted, finished, burned in the ocean of life, no more any uh, trace of Rasulullah was appearing anymore. Then Allah Almighty is advising the reality of Rasulullah by a divinely God, the reality from Himself, and letting Him by a God Himself from Allah Almighty, no more ego, but God Himself from Allah Almighty, and letting Him by a God be. Body, divine, the God, the body from the light of Allah Almighty, and by this one ascending and approaching to Allah Almighty until he was saying, I saw Allah Almighty by the eyes of Allah Almighty. Not by my eyes, but by the eyes of Allah Almighty. Because now his body, his light, that the body which he was dressed, it was all blessed by all the attributes from Allah Almighty which belong to Allah Almighty, Allah blessing on the that the divine, the light body which was blessed to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And like this Rasulullah was saying, I saw Allah Almighty by the eyes of Allah Almighty. And so this Allah Almighty he said to Bilal Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, neither heavens or earthen, I choose them or Ka'la or Bayt al-Ma'mur or Quran or Qudus al-Sharif. I didn't choose any one of them to be house for me. I am settling myself. The house of me is the house of children of Adam alayhi wa I am choosing the house of children of Adam alayhi wa to be my house. And I am settling my throne in his house. And for this Allah Almighty obliging the blood to enter into the heart to reach these chambers which every chamber contains a special jewels and light and protected the first chamber by jewels and light by Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anh and all Imam of Holy Way like Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Zaydani, Sayyidina Ahmad al Rifai, Sayyidina Bishr al Hafi, Shaytan al Rai. Hassan al-Basri, Mahizdin ibn al-Alami, Ahmad al-Rifai, Ahmad al-Badawi, all these big awliya, protecting the light of Allah Almighty and Jewels, which is left in the first chamber. And the, ha- and the blood is in need to be survived again to take from this light. So that the malaik again would be well charged, as the power of the one when it is empty, he must charge it, and like this, the blood must be charged again to be full battery to go for a, a second circulation in the body. Then it needs to go to the second chamber where Allah Almighty is resting it by light and by jewels and secrets and realities of Iman, Ihsan, of light from Allah Almighty which is taken care and protected by Sayyidina Abu Bakr and, and all Iman Shaykh and Mawlana Shaykh and of Allah. Then he is obliged to go to the third chamber down 
والعدائس of رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم from which everyone is appearing to be loved by the kingdom of Allah Almighty and that it is only protected by the hand of Rasulullah. No one has to interfere. No prophet, no awliya, no one to interfere except Rasulullah. And the blood is in need to be blessed by life from Rasulullah to continue the circulation of life in the blood. Then it needs to go to the first maqam which is the absolute hidden maqam where is the house of Allah Almighty and the throne of Allah Almighty which Allah Almighty is saying neither the earth nor heaven I choose to be my house only the house of children of Adam alayhi salam there in this first chamber the house of Allah Almighty where Allah Almighty is settling his throne and settling his greatest name on the throne and settling his life and settling all his malaika whom they praise him, glorifying Allah Almighty all the time and Allah Almighty saying there is the secret is the secret between me and my servant no one there can dare to say that he is a servant or he is Allah or he is Allah or his servant and with that it needs to go to that maqam to be well dressed by life from Allah Almighty and to be supported to all these three chambers before coming to the first chamber Allah will support them and will send them quickly Allah will push them Allah Almighty make his special malaika to pump him not they are to pump him, nothing else pumping the malaika the blood and walking with the blood to cover all the circulation of all the body until it reached to every cell, to every atom, to every part of the body to give life, then could be going back to the heart to take another uh, action of uh, to be blessed by life from Allah Almighty and to be found by Allah Almighty by Malaika into the body again. You know now the answer. Tell me how far it goes. How I know that it's not everyone can understand. It needs uh, only to be taken by the heart to understand, not by the mind. This cannot answer the mind. Mind is limited. Heart is the heart of Allah Almighty. So what? Can accept and May Allah forgive us and bless us. Now, everyone is free. You can drink, you can eat, and you drink also, and everyone can go and rest. And tomorrow, all of you, you will miss Tukha prayer, and you pray it at 6, 7, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. When the sun rises, you wake up to pray the Tukha prayer. Why? They make us to be so late my time until we see the houses also in one hour until we sleep to two o'clock. How we are going to wake up and talk a prayer? No one wakes up. Say Allah.